You're welcome back to Nationwide, where we're focusing on older people and being active. Dancing is a great way of keeping fit, and in Waterford we found a tango dancer who at 98 years of age is on his feet tangoing three evenings a week. The tango is one of the most famous dances in the world. Associated with Argentina and Uruguay, it's a dance of love and passion. These dancers at Tracy's Hotel in Waterford love to dance the tango. I always loved tango music, even the tango music they used to play in ballrooms. With less than two years to go to his 100th birthday, Jim McManus loves to dance. I like it. And I think everybody who goes who embraces it and goes tango dancing, they, they get to love it. Moving in rhythm to the music, that's what you have to do. You've got to listen to the music and move with the music, you see. If you can't do that, you're not dancing. That's what it's all about. Jim has moved in rhythm all his life. Born and brought up in Paisley in Scotland, his background was Irish. I was born in 1920. My father was a telephone linesman, actually. He worked for the GPO. All my relatives were Irish. Jim's father had fought in the First World War and survived. We were in the trenches, all right, yeah. My father did say a few things about it. He said how lousy it was, you know. Rats and things and the things they used to burn the, the lice off the kilts. Because <laughs> they wore kilts in those days. When Jim finished school in the 30s, he decided to join the Territorial Army. During the, the various battles I was in, quite a few of them there, I was in the Market Garden one, which was by the time they dropped all the paratroopers in... Did you ever see the film A Bridge Too Far? That was the one. I was in that one. I was in... We were in Nijmegen at the time, in Holland. After the war, Jim, with his radio experience, went on to study in college and get further qualifications. He began working with the Merchant Navy and travelled all over the world. When he met his wife and settled down, his life at sea came to an end and he began working as a TV and radio engineer. I was working in a town called Thame in Oxfordshire. One of the clients was uh, Laurence Olivier. And I was called out one Saturday night to his house because he had a, an important guest and he wanted to show him something on the television. And uh, when I got there, there was Laurence Olivier and his wife, Vivian Lee, and Orson Welles, the famous actor. He was there too. Eventually, Jim opened his own shop near Plymouth. But when he retired, he decided to return to his Irish family roots. He settled in Waterford, where he made friends by joining a dance class. People bring something to eat and we share, and then we share the dancing and everything is about sharing here. So I'm, I'm very glad that, that I, I'm doing this here in Waterford. Jim doesn't smoke and only takes a drink on special occasions, but he's very conscious of his diet. It's keep it simple. Plenty of uh, green stuff, you know, vegetables, or the red stuff, like peppers, peppers and things like that. As Jim approaches his 99th birthday, his dream now is to travel to Argentina. I've always wanted to go to a, a Buenos Aires to see the real tango in motion like you know I've seen it on YouTube and on various films and things but uh, I'd like to do the real thing. And we will
wish Jim well with his planned visit to Argentina, the home of tango. From Waterford, back here to Cork, where the over 60s talent competition is winding down for the evening. And so we come to the end of this evening's programme. I have to say, it's been a great day here in Cork City. The place is coming down in talent. Well done to Paddy O'Brien and everybody involved in the over 60s talent competition. Best to look in the heats that are still to be played out. And we'll be keeping an eye out for the finals. Don't forget, it's in City Hall here in Cork on the 17th of June. The very best of luck to everybody. So, Shindera Shiklor, Iwag Wivnish, Agus Gadeish of